Growing up, I had the ugliest teachers in the world. Ugh. See, most of my teachers were born old and grumpy. Reason why I hated school, but not today. Oh, wait. These new teachers are coming to school looking good. Like fam. How are you supposed to pay attention to class when your teacher looks like this? Oh my God. Oh my God, he on X Games mode. Yeah. Boy, I would've put a dent in those discs. Can you imagine seeing your teacher on TikTok twerking? See, back in my day, you were lucky to have one attractive teacher. Remember your first teacher crush, right? And from the moment she turned her back, yeah, see, booty, shorty, thick it in a bowl of oatmeal. Damn, damn. Yes, Miss Baker, go to the front and solve that equation. Damn. Now, fellas, y'all gonna feel me on this one. You ever been bricked in class and had to stand in the front of the classroom? Oh, my God. So, my God, I got one question for you. What would you do? Get to the front of class and embarrass yourself in front of the whole school? Or take the F. Nice for your boy. Shoot, I've been here too many times. I'm a seasoned vet, my guy. First, you gotta cover with a hoodie. Hoodies are the best solution for this situation. Now, if you're not in possession of a hoodie, go for a book or a piece of paper. And if it all fails, pray to God nobody notices. Oh, there's nothing more embarrassing than having the whole class seeing you wrecked. Is that your or a pinky poking out your pants? And that, my God, is where this story begins. So for this story, I'ma take you back, back to my high school brick years. So it was back in freshman year in high school. Now we're talking 14. And one thing I know about freshmen is nine times out of ten, they're bricked all day at school. See, today's kids are different, different. They'll be on the news like, son, did Miss Chelsea touch you? Yes, she did. And I'm scarred for the rest of my life. <laughs> oh, bitch. When I was in school, all the boys dreamed about smashing our teachers. We'd be in class like, damn, bro. I wonder what Miss Baker looks like butt ass naked. Me too, dog. Them cheeks thicker than a snigger. Yeah. All I need is three and a half minutes. Yeah, that's, that's all boys thought about. Now, when it came to Miss Baker, the only way to get her attention was to flunk the class. See, if you get all A's, she's not going to give you private lessons. But if you fail, huh? You see where I'm going, right? You get the cheeks. I'm talking a one-on-one -on -one session with the baddest teacher in school. So my dumb ass started failing math on purpose. Next thing I know, I'm getting private tutor sessions with Miss Baker after school. Now the plan was simple. Get next to Miss Baker. Oh my gosh, she smells so good. Hit on some of that ribs. And if it all goes well, I'm smashing. Oh my god. And I'm not telling. So one day I was on my way to Miss Baker's office after basketball practice. Now Miss Baker's office was the last office down the hall. So I'm walking halfway through the hallway. From the corner of my eye, I see two people hugged up in the office office now i'm thinking does miss baker have a man i know she ain't cheating on me so i get to the door but right before walking in i look closer and oh my god it's coach reed now here's the thing see my school was known for being a little different see back in the days some teachers were known for being a little too flirty you know the type i'm talking a bbl drizzy type certified well you know the rest and this is where mr reed comes in see mr reed was known for being a little too close to the female students so i'm looking in right and i'm seeing coach reed hugged up with one of the shorties now i'm not talking about a typical hug right mm -mm, i'm talking a full body contact my guy so i'm like holy am i seeing what i think i'm saying all right tim just be cool keep watching a few moments go by, and I see Shorty and the coach locking lips. Now I'm shook. I didn't know what to do. I'm not supposed to be saying this. So I hit on the side, waited a few more minutes, and I saw Shorty leaving the office. Oh, snap. That looks like Linda. Now, Linda was the captain of the girls' basketball team, and she was a senior, meaning she was probably around 17 years old. Now, this is where things get strange. See, in America, most states' legal age of consent is 16 years old. Now, Mr. Reed, on the other end, was a freshman out of college, meaning he's somewhere around 21. So, technically speaking, right? In America, that is, it's kind of legal. Ugh. A high school teacher is not supposed to be linking up with a student. So, my guy, I got one question for you. What would you do? Snitch on both of them? I don't mind your damn business. Now, just like most teenagers, I couldn't wait to tell the homies. So, the next day, I get to class and hit up my boy Bill. Yo, Bill, you're not going to believe this. What's up? I saw Coach Reed locking lips with Linda. Linda? Like, trust on Linda? Uh-huh. Captain of the basketball team, Linda? Uh-huh. You got it. 
Oh, my mama, kid. Now, since I'm no snitch, I told Bill to keep his mouth shut. But come on, my guy. This is high school. See, there's something about high school that makes rumors spread like wildfire. Next thing I know, Bill tells JB, JB tells the homie Jason, Jason tells his girl Cassie, and Cassie's big mouth tells the whole school. Now everyone knows the rumor. So it's the next day, now I'm in class chilling. Next thing I know, I hear the school principal come on the intercom. Miss Baker, could you send Mr. Tim to the office? Oh, sh what's this about? So I get to the principal's office, the man locks the door, and it all got real. So Mr. Tim, I'm gonna ask you a real simple question and I need a real simple answer. So you pulled into the teacher's office around 4.15? Yes, I believe so. And then what? I, um, saw nothing? You saw nothing? Oh, you saw something, but it's nothing. Yes, I saw something, but it's nothing. Tim, the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. What? Son, there are known knowns, but there's also known unknowns. Huh? So which are you? Now I'm perplexed. I didn't know what to say. So I'll go, but I didn't see Mr. Reed do anything to Linda. Uh-oh. Now you know you don't f***ing <laughs> up, right? No! See, word had got around to the school principal, and long story short, Mr. Johnson called Linda's parents. They made her confess. Come to find out, Mr. Reed was smashing Linda on the low low, and they were both planning to elope. Now nice as for your boy, I'm minding my business. Don't even know if Mr. Reed was criminally charged, but I do know the man was fired and never heard from again. And you know what sucks? I never got to smash Miss Baker. Damn, Miss Baker, I'm all grown now. So, moral of the story, mind your damn business. Yeah, you're reading this correctly. Making Schmex tapes with an eighth grader? The FBI says they recovered approximately 28 videos. One was over 13 minutes long. But get this, after she made child na 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 he with a literal middle schooler, she left the school and took a job as an art teacher at a different school. She was out on bond since October. How do these people get out? I found what I believe to be her Instagram. The self-portraits kind of look like her, and it's her name. And the comment section is, um kind of confirming things. From what I can see, she's back in jail right now. There are a lot of women coming out lately who are predators in school. Just a few days ago, this came out from Missouri where a teacher R-worded a 16 year old while other students were lookouts. This is her, Haley Clifton Carmick, and when the block got hot, she fled to Texas and then got caught again. And then another woman in South Carolina just a few months ago got caught doing the same thing with her student at a Christian school. She's a wife, a teacher, a mother of two, and she pressured him into this relationship. This is her with her entire family. Now, look, I know predators can be anybody, but it is kind of shocking when women like this, who seem to have everything together and are beautiful as hell, are doing things like it's like it could be anybody. It's mind blowing. And it just goes to show that you really cannot trust anybody and don't judge a book by its cover. Don't think your kids are safe just because it's a summertime and there's no school because this woman had the relationship with the middle schooler over the summer break. Always keep a close eye on your kids, y'all. I know that they might think it's annoying, but trust me, when they're grown up, they will understand why.